Hello and welcome back to another wonderful session of the legendary Iron Man uh, Long War of the Chosen run. This is Better One. My name is Saiken and we're playing this mod. It is month number four and we are still kicking aliens as uh, for those of you who haven't followed the series uh, until now, we are almost done expanding past Africa. But there are a couple of missions that we need to do, uh, one of uh, which is going to be important to get another engineer that would be our sixth engineer. We got to extract them um, and we're up for quite a few enemies here, but we only infiltrated to 66%. So what we want to do here, uh, because uh, an, uh, an uh, engineer is definitely worth the boosted infiltration, since we only have a pretty small SWAT of uh, five uh, soldiers, and specifically since the SWAT isn't very like well balanced, we do have two spe uh, specialists in there and no cover removal. We can uh, we need an, every help that we can get. In this particular case, we have reduced the baseline to ten to twelve enemies, which is four packs. I feel very confident that that is in the realm of our skills. So. Without further ado, let's go. And there we go. This time we're starting without any form of concealment. We just need to get out of here. And we got a VIP to protect. Well, no shit um, that our position isn't concealed. It's not a long way, which means uh, very soon we are going to meet enemies. And that again means careful and steady wins the race. I am thinking about somewhat moving over here and taking the high ground. We got some high ground over here as well, but that looks like a long shot to sort of move all the way over there. Instead, if we were to move over here, all right, can slowly but surely make it to this building, and we would then try to move all the way over the buildings, which isn't the worst idea. The advantage there is we can play a a bit with a line of sight. Disadvantage, of course, is we got to be pretty careful not to pull too many aliens at, at once. It's easy if you're not careful to run into a pack or two just because you're dropping from the rooftop. But we're not putting all of our eggs in one basket. Just a few of our soldiers will be on the rooftop. Some others will simply um, continue to be down here. My biggest concern is the lack of removal, cover removal that is. And we haven't triggered a single pack. Interesting. Okay. Time for us to move on. 16 rounds. Plenty of time. I'd like to get some full cover. This might trigger a pack. There we go. First pack. Again, 10 to 12 enemies. He is almost flanking us, so we've got to be careful here. 50-50 for the Advent Officer. Okay, I'll go. And we are moving just into full cover. Out. 
We're too far away for run and gun. Yeah, that's a 0% chance. But it's a 50-50 on a stun. Might as well take that. Very nice. So that'll take care of uh, the advent. Might as well take another 50-50 to see if we can hit him. We can't kill him right away. Stun is good enough for now. And let's move into a position where we're not being flanked. Everyone is in full cover. We're hunkering down. And let's go for some overwatches. Interesting, they're overwatching as well. <clears throat> Question of the day is, do we have lightning reflexes? We do. And we do have run and gun. Run and, and just in case we're pulling something. Moving up. This will trigger overwatch. All right, we haven't triggered anything. Advent officer is down. We got a 50-50 to kill that trooper. So far, so good. Two down. Quite a few more to go. I don't want to pull another pack, so let's be careful. I guess that will be okay. We're just taking positions where we know that there aren't any aliens around. Alright. And we got quite a few overwatches moving the VIP further. Eight to ten enemies left. Good. Time for us to take the high ground up here. Probably going to result in an enemy pack that we're spotting. Definitely got a deal with a mech. Standing on high ground and facing a mech is always a really, really bad combination. Thankfully, we can hit it quite well with our sniper. Super, uh, super good. Let's see, no one can actually move up there. That is disturbing. No, no. Well, we could stand in the open, but like who wants to do that? Hmm. We're taking the loot. I am liking this position here. It's not very accessible and we can flank next turn.
Let's start to deal with the mech first. Very nice. That was a pretty decent shot. Very important. I don't want to go all the way up to here. It's probably not going to be a good idea. So Bob Ross is moving in. We're 8 protocoling our frontliner, making it essentially full cover. And let's take a position up here where with a single movement next turn we can get into a good shooting position. Again, VIP moves into full cover, plus Hunker is down. So far, so good. That was some clean play. Time to mop them up. We killed three, so it's seven to nine enemies left. Moving further in. Fifty-five percent. I think we're going to take the precise shot here. Well, it's not really changing anything other than giving us a very small crit chance, and that's not worth it. So let's just take a normal shot. Moving our sniper, pretty sure we're not going to be ambushed, so we can leave him in the open. Positioning ourselves far enough away so that no one would use a grenade to hit us. 50-50, what exactly is the heck? Squad precision looks really nice, but I am afraid about the downsides. Crit for two turns, yeah, soldier against concealment, both of it is good, but, but the chances are so low that I wouldn't want to risk giving the enemies a defensive and mobility boost. Did not manage to hit anyone there. Moving up here. That's affirmative. We're trying another stun gun. Get it together. Clearly it didn't work out. And soon we're going to face reinforcements, but I think we're still fine. Overall, they are in a retreating mode and we're advancing. Got two packs, uh, both of them with uh, two soldiers, so we killed three, uh, which means we're down to seven to nine, one of them heavily injured. I'm a bit greedy, so we're going for the loot here. Oh, nice. Superior conditioning. That's really good. Three hit points. Love it. So we still have 12 turns, plenty of time, 
Let's first of all get our shit together. Moving down here, and we gotta get our sniper up as well. Yeah, still the chances aren't good enough. All right, Overwatch. You know what? Let's park him down here. That's oh, a safer spot. Another Overwatch and we're going for another Overwatch. All right, slow but steady wins the race, is what they say. Full cover positioning over here. Heading to that location. We might trigger a pack. I've got eyes on advent troops. What would appear to be a single entity is actually a swarm Oh shit. That's our first spectre. Coordination to maintain a cohesive form. Ooh, wow, okay. And that's where the soldier was um, running to, the gunner. Very soon we're going to see reinforcements. So, I'd be thinking... We might want to let them come a little bit closer. At the end of the day, we got the high ground here. I mean, I appreciate being in the middle of everyone, but it's not hard to know that we're being mind controlled, the Spectre is going to fly over, there are going to be grenades raining in, so what we're actually going to do is we're dropping down. Fifty fifty on a guardian. Okay. Well, you know moving, moving into full cover, first and foremost. Taking the guardian out isn't the worst idea. And since our assault is so far in the front, might as well give him the aid protocol to make it harder to hit him. We continue to overwatch, and we continue to overwatch. I'm actually pretty, quite, uh, quite happy with the position that we're in. We now need to kill a few of the enemies. And what would be extremely helpful is if we wouldn't miss our overwatch shots. Don't you know how it is? We never have been good with overwatch shots. Oops. 
got to deal with this flank here and up here I just saw vanishing which means the specter is somewhere out there Good, let's start with the Advent Officers. Check it before you get too close. Nice, that's a straight up kill. Heavy gunner over there. Yeah, I like the idea of clearing out the flank to be honest. Nice. That's a maximum damage shot. Really, really good. Okay, sort of lucky, but we had a plan B. High ground really pays off in this instance. Might as well use our precision shot. He's almost down. Okay, oh, we can't use another protocol. We, can, we don't need to heal yet. I am satisfied with our position unfortunately we're not hitting him hmm. that is indeed unfortunate moving over so we're not getting flanked Good, that's three down. We already killed three, so we're down six. And that means it's four to six enemies. We know there is a Spectre um, uh, sector. There was another Guardian over here, so that's three, four with that one. And there was an injured Gunner, five. Don't want to rush in yet. Problem with rushing in is you're ending up um, with a specter that is going to simply knock you out. Might as well move over here. We do have Ever Vigilant, which means we can double move and still get an Overwatch in. I think that's not bad. Not that it care uh, that the specter would care. There's heavy fire in this song. Only hit the armor. Okay. So we're being flanked, or they are trying to flank us, we're not being flanked, we still have full cover from all directions. Ooh, we gotta deal with the sick dude. Okay. This here might as well be a kill. Come on, buddy. Nice. That's it. We are reloading. Okay. 
Small gremlin heal. Can still give him an aid protocol a bit later. We could stand up here, essentially kill the um, the sectored. It's probably the right play. The other option is standing here. And killing the trooper. Hmm. Well. I like our position here, but we're barely out of range, right? I'm trusting you here. So shifting over. And let's see if we can maybe get this guy. Unfortunately not, but that's okay. We have a 50-50 on the advent gunner. I'm not moving. Uh, close. Still okay. Good. We're not caring about the zombie right away. Instead, run and gun. To here, kill him. Then he were probably being taken over by the specter. Which we then counteract with uh, Revival Protocol. Then we're killing the Spectre and the Zombie eventually. Let's just Overwatch in case the Zombie moves any closer. Good, we got one Spectre and one... Um, sector left. There's the Shadowbound ability. Spectre is putting itself in a safe position. Sector is moving closer. Alright, a very much expected turn, like there isn't any surprise here. Revival protocol, getting Wolverine back up. The question will be, are we, are we going to kill it with one shot? The Spectre, that is. Probably not, but... Can we hit it? It's a 50-50. 
Let's see if we can soften it up. We can't. Unfortunately, none of the targets are within range for our sniper. Reinforcements are coming in next turn. This is lightning reflexes, by the way. I almost like the idea of stunning it. Pretty solid chance of hitting it and critting it. Ah, we're going to kill it next turn. Good, which means we got to deal with the Shadowbound this turn. And one way of doing that is simply killing it. Did we really just hit our own guy off the rooftop? Let's deal with a shadow bound. Enemy destroyed. My ammo's running low. And we're dealing with a zombie by flashbanging the sector <clears throat> that kills the zombie right away. Sector also can only use his normal abilities. We're going to close the door just for good measures. And reload. The reinforcements have arrived. Got to deal with the mech. I think we're going to be fine. All right, overall an okay turn. I was expecting worse than that. The, my only concern is we have shot ourselves off the rooftop, which was pretty ridiculous. Okay, so one thing at a time. Uh, I like the idea of moving in. This here will trigger the overwatch of the sector. I like the idea of killing it. Nice. Good job.
Good. Moving to here. By the way, I find it hilarious how the mech uh, found the only spot where it was completely out of sight from the sniper. Props to it for finding that one. Wait a second, no, we can... Okay, so this position here apparently gives us line of sight for the mech. Thank you. Moving into a flanking position. Reloading and overwatch. So we're down to the Spectre. Of course, the Spectre was flanking us. Perfect timing, by the way, for Revival Protocol. We still got six turns left over. It almost looked like the shot would be coming from here. Heading to that location. All right, let's kill it. Well, would you look at that? Enemy eliminated. All right, slowly but surely moving out. We're healing Wolverine. Reinforcements are not immediately inbound. Got another Larim core, that's good. We can definitely use that if for nothing else than cash value. They're worth 20 supplies. Sniper's moving down and we're now essentially extracting everyone. That's affirmative. Locked and loaded. Good. No enemy movement, which means all of the enemies are dead. Running. And that means we can simply charge off uh, the map. We got ourselves some really nice loot on this mission. And two Alarim cores here. Wow, that's pretty good. Damn good. So three Alarim cores is uh, supreme conditioning. 
which in itself is extremely valuable at this moment in time. And all, all things considered, we had a pretty decent run here. Fought our first Spectre. Was way less problematic than I thought it would have been. And on top of that, I think we're getting an engineer out of uh, this run. Got it covered. Affirmative. Moving out. Good, everyone here can evac. I'm gone. I'm gone. The RT secure in position for evac. This is Firebrand. The IP is secure. And I wouldn't be surprised if most uh, wounds, maybe not the one on our uh, on our assault, but most of the other wounds would essentially be neglectable so none of them would actually be wounded okay let's take a look i think we deserve the promotion oh we got even two out of it well and i was a bit wrong we the wounds were more severe than anticipated four days is okay nine uh, bit on the tough end. I like the formidable. That's definitely a good idea. Yeah, we're continuing with a path of uh, making our soldiers hard to kill. <clears throat> and revival protocol for our specialist. Bob Ross did a pretty nice job leading this team. We got ourselves uh, three Alarium cores, three hit points on a superior conditioning, which I love. It is just incredibly powerful. So let's take a look from our prime team. Who could use that powerful PCS? Currently we got ourselves like what? Iron skin? Uh, I think we're going to go with uh, superior conditioning here. Superior speed also might be an option for him. His movement range is pretty important. Who else could use either of those? Yeah, for him, I think we're sticking with mods that increase his two hit chance. Specialists, I tend to give them hit points because that way they are surviving and can continue to heal others. But he already has superior conditioning. Good job, Edgar Allan Poe. Love it. Dark Tower here could be someone, simply because he's taking a lot of damage from time to time. Shinobis are prime, uh, prime options for it. They usually don't have a speed problem due to the low, uh, due to the SMGs that they are carrying. Gunners definitely could. <clears throat> go for it but to be honest he could also use mobility just to be not so absolutely damn slow
You know what? I think we're going to give him the superior speed. Roby needs it. That way we are, for once, uh, being able to put him in the right position and we're taking the superior conditioning here. It doesn't matter all too much because at the end of the day you can always modify it with cover, covert ops missions. But still, having them earlier in the game essentially makes a difference. Good. We're almost at 100% infiltration for the next uh, mission, which is going to be a recover an item mission. And I think we're going to do that. Extremely light. Recover an item from a vehicle. Got ourselves a nice uh, squad here. It's going to do the mission. Yeah, seems pretty straightforward. Anyways, um, thank you so much for watching. As always, I enjoy creating the content. If you enjoyed the mission, if you enjoy the run, leave a comment and a like down below. Helps uh, promoting that series. And see you in the next run. Bye-bye.